I made this performance series. So this is actually me in the imagery. Um, but I got uh, someone else to take the images of me. And it was basically a improvisational kind of performance. So, but what I was like really interested in, in making this, like all my kind of like research and practice was based on like how technology and digital media like affects us. And kind of my internal kind of exploration of that and kind of wanting to understand how it affects me and my relationship to that and wanting to express that physically and visually. That's it. It's, it's like something that's not tangible, it's something that's invisible. I feel like it's something you'll kind of experience internally, but it's really, really hard to express. Um, and I found using my body and the image kind of the best way to do that. Um, and for this series, I kind of brought all these different objects and just had them in the space. I didn't really visually know that this, these images would come out from the performance. So it was, I had no idea, like in my, in my mind, like I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but it was, it was very improvisational. And, and the results that, there's actually quite a lot of different images from this series, but this is the five images that I called the new evolution. And, um, so dawn of get the dawn of Eve, ecstasy of the games, abandoned, forbidden, and motherboard. Um, I think I chose to use this series in this exhibition because of how we kind of live in an attention economy now, and it's kind of we live in like a surveillance capitalism. It's kind of taken over, and it's sort of trying to express that and giving kind of a visual rep representation of that, how it's affecting us. And I think technology is is essentially kind of a use for good. Or it's just the way that we use it and it's the way that the tech companies have basically use like persuasive technology to hack our psychology, to keep us like glued to the screen. And it's kind of like separating our reality, our physical like reality from it's like online reality. Um, yeah, and I decided to sort of do this in the space as like a dialogue, and I'm running a screening and discussion next Thursday, and it's gonna actually be based more on how the digital economy has changed how artists work and navigate together, and sort of the, it's called the social dilemma, the screening, and it's basically where tech insiders, people who created Like Button, Facebook, um, Instagram, kind of talk about how they made these platforms to like with with like a design taken to the extreme like it's it's kind of like them talking about how like these like it, they were meant to be for a force for good but actually they're they're actually not doing that right now um and we kind of need to like collectively understand that um so it's going to be like a screening of discussion about so i think essentially like artists uh, use social media it's become like it's this like simultaneous like utopian dystopian thing that we think we we all kind of like don't really get but it's kind of so centralized in our lives right now um and i'm just very interested in like expressing this kind of internal monologue or dialogue that's happening within our bodies that we can't really kind of understand and i've used um i'm really interested in but like I was brought up as a Christian, um, a Christian family, um, my dad's a vicar, and I've been always very obsessed with the story of Adam and Eve, and I'm kind of interested in sort of mythology, um, fiction, and kind of just like, like altered realities. And that's why I, I was thinking like a lot about this like new kind of evolution of like humanity and people and how we've sort of grown with this like accelerated uh, growth of technology that's happened so fast. And it's like happened like so fast that we haven't even realized that it's like impacted us so much. And I'm kind of like wanting to sort of convey that through this imagery. And I was thinking about like the dawn of Eve. Um, that's like, the, it's kind of like subtle kind of like naming of the works that comes into that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah, any questions?
Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. So the reason I I wanted to paint paint myself um, and be neutral is because I didn't want to have an identity, and it kind of it stemmed from my like like with I I've done like previous performance works where I haven't been painted, and I felt like it was kind of felt too personal. It felt like it was too kind of my own personal, and I wanted to be sort of like non identifiable kind of like this other kind of like body um so it became something that other people could certainly relate to and understand kind of see within themselves or as just like an, an otherness really but also kind of just wanting to like cover my identity um like i'm really interested in some of digital identity and this yeah that kind of came into it as well but i kind of like how it it's actually acrylic paint that I used, um, which is really hard to get off. Um, yeah, I didn't do that again. Um, but it was, it was interesting because I didn't plan this, but when I took off the wires, um, it left these like imprints, and I thought, and it kind of like, then I kind of like worked with that in an improvised way in relationship to the image of the performance. I kind of like it because it's like these glitches and it's kind of like invisible impact as well that's happening, I've got like, kind of like glitches as well. Any other questions? Um, I, okay, I'm really curious about the role of the baby. In, um, yeah, like how do you want to, what kind of uh, message do you want to yeah, I guess I'm, I was thinking like more about like a digital natives, um, like uh, children who are being born uh, into this environment now, and how like they they can't actually like they will never know like a reality without technology or like without social media, and like and like how is that like this kind of like an open question like how is that going to affect society like how is that how is it going to change and impact children? And especially, I feel like now, like the rise of like suicides in teens and like mental health have like r risen like exponentially due to as soon as social media um, came in, like came into society. Especially like young teens who are being brought up on social media now. I think like, I'm really I'm really interested in like just like researching about it, and that's why that's what like motivates my practice. Like, I'm really passionate about this subject and making artworks about about this because I think it's important that artists do this because I think creativity is just a really important aspect of society to make people see the invisible or, which is kind of like everyone's works here as well. Um, I was thinking about things like you're referencing kind of advertising and like specifically like Map branding, Apple branding, and I've seen other stuff you've done where it's like Intel. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about working with that? It's like you're kind of. You're not like. It's sort of undermining a thing, but it's sort of like appropriating it as well. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, I think. Um, I, like, I especially wanted to, like, I guess I'm like targeting Apple in this. Um, <laughs> just. Because I think you know that is like the main stream brand that everyone has. Everyone has an Apple phone, um, and I think it's become like this sort of um, aesthetic as well. Um, and that's how they use the branding because it was like this aesthetic kind of thing. Um, I think mainly because like I was, I use Apple products, so that's probably why I essentially wanted to use this. And like also, yeah. I think that's mainly, it feels like the most predominant thing. I've also done another series where I like, painted myself as a Windows flag and run around like a field that looked like the Windows background. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just going through all the brands. <laughs> Hopefully we won't get copyrighted. <laughs> The yeah. cables are a bit like they're serpent. Mm. serpent. Yeah. yeah, I like that because it kind of ties into the sort of like uh, Adam and Eve kind of story as well. But it, I like how like it, it kind of it looked like they're writhing in the imagery. Um, 
Um, have you tried to live without all these technologies in one have you tried to 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 live without this technology like in the process when you were thinking about this connection and disconnection have you tried to feel apart because sometimes I feel that we can try that and mm. we realize how it's so difficult yeah so, yeah, yeah. Uh, that was my question. Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I feel like um, through this process of making this work, I was going through my own kind of process of like how to like live mindfully and how to sort of separate myself from like my digital identity and social media and sort of like regain kind of my, my own like physical like um, reality, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm like a, a definitely like a pro like digital minimalist. Um, and I'm like really interested in like I'm really passionate about that actually. Like I think it's really important that we do like take time away from like social media and, and that. It, but like it's hmm? digital cleanse. Yeah, a digital detox. Yeah, and I'm like yeah, like um, I'd love to like, which is kind of what I'm going to talk about next week in the discussion. Like because it's really hard. I, I've definitely found it really difficult since moving to London and being on the course because how we navigate with each other is through like WhatsApp um, and through social media and it's kind of this kind of constant flow of information and if, if you kind of leave it for a bit uh, then you kind of get left out and you miss things and you so it's kind of it's been harder like it was a lot easier during lockdown <laughs> I just cut myself off completely and I was just yeah um, but I think that's what I want to like have a conversation about next week and talk to people about um, so I think it's it's possible, but I think like it's it's kind of like I was reading like it's kind of it's going to either end up with people who are offline and people who are online. Um, kind of like if you're if you're online, you're a vampire. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's an open discussion. And, uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely like researching about like basically how to live my in the digital world. Yeah. Thank you.